Welcome. I'm going to demonstrate uh, roasting coffee beans using the gas grill. Roasting is divided into different key elements. There's the drying phase uh, followed by the roasting uh, phase or temperature. The roasting temperature brings you uh, the key elements of first crack, second crack, and also the time periods leading up to and in between the two of those. The drying temperature is about 300 degrees, whereas roasting temperature is between 535 and 555 degrees. Now first crack sounds a bit like popcorn popping, whereas second crack sounds more like uh, Rice Krispies popping in milk. Now, as I mentioned, I use a drying temperature of 300 degrees. I use that for three minutes. Then I go to my roasting temperature. I, I shoot for between 540 and 550 degrees and I have a goal of reaching first crack at about 7 minutes and 45 seconds into the roast. Then I like to hit second crack about 2 minutes after first crack finishes. Um, there's a lot of wonderful inf information on a website sweetmarias.com. That's where I got my roasting profile um, based on the information that I gleaned from there. I recommend that you go there. To learn, you can learn a lot from that site if you haven't gone to it already. Now just a little bit about the drum that I use. For the past couple of years I've been using this one that I purchased, but I uh, made my own because I wanted to be able to roast larger amounts. So I made it twice the size, but one other thing that I did that's different is you'll notice that the veins or paddles that's used to help distribute the beans in the one that I purchased um, are solid material. Whereas in the one that I made, I decided to use perforated aluminum for those veins as well. And I think that's actually working out pretty well. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, the perforated veins in there. But um, I think it's working out well because I'm able to roast more than twice as much as this one, even though this one's only twice the, uh, twice the size. And I think the reason for that is because with, with most uh, rotisserie motors, they're pretty slow. And so your beans are riding on the veins a considerable period of time. If the veins are made out of solid material, like it was on this one that I purchased, then they're going to be obstructed from the heat of the grill to a certain extent for during the time period that they're riding on the veins. Whereas with the perforated aluminum, they have access to the grill heat 100% of the time. Now let's go ahead and get started. Before I actually get started with the roast, I warm my uh, rotisserie up, put my drum in there empty, and let it get up to roasting temperature. Okay, it's uh, it's time. We're up to roasting temperature, so now we can add our beans. To add the beans, we just take the latch, take the latch out, pour the beans in the drum. Close the latch. Shake it to even the beans out. Start the rotisserie. Now for the first three minutes, I like to have a lower temperature. This helps in the drying phase of the beans and uh, it results in a better tasting coffee. 
However, my grill won't get uh, to a low enough temperature for that drying phase. So what I've done is I've uh, uh, rigged the chain so that I can lift the lid a little bit. And, and that, of course, lowers the temperature to the point where I want it just for the first three minutes. Well, I've had it at the drying temperature of about 300 degrees for three minutes now. So let's go ahead and lower the lid and raise the temperature up to my roasting temperature of 540 to 550 degrees. Well, we're seven minutes and 45 seconds into the roast, so our first cracks should be beginning very shortly, and there it is, right on time. Notice how it sounds quite a bit like popcorn popping. Now after first crack is done, we'll hope that there's about a two minute interval between that and second crack. That's the goal anyway. It sounds like first crack is just about done. Now to try to lengthen the time between it and second crack, we can lower the temperature a little bit, but we don't want to bring it lower than when first crack initially started. Um, we could stall the roast and that would not be very uh, pleasant drinking. So it just takes a little bit of experience. Oh, I think we're, I think I'm hearing second crack already. So it's only been about 15, 30 seconds between first crack and second crack. I like to take my roast about 30 seconds into second crack. Um, so we'll be ending it shortly. We're good to go. We'll dump it out. Dump it out. Check it out. A uh, full pound of the wonderful Mocha Kadir blend from Sweet Maria's. Ah, beautiful. This is just a, a box fan that has a screen on top of it. I use this to cool my beans. Uh, it's very important to cool the beans pretty rapidly because otherwise the coffees will continue to roast. And you want to stop it uh, when you're satisfied with the roasting level. At the same time, I get rid of any chaff that's left remaining on the beans. 